Hey everybody, so welcome back um, to another one of my videos. I know I've been um, kind of MIA from YouTube and haven't given you guys an update. I appreciate everybody who has reached out and has asked um, what's going on, uh, what were the results, did the fourth IUI work or not. And you can probably guess by me not uploading this video um, as I usually do by this time. Well, it didn't work. Um, the fourth IUI was a total fail for us. Um, why? There's really no explanation. Um, everything looked good as how my body should have been. Um, and it just, it didn't work. Um, I didn't even get to test uh, to see if I was pregnant or not because on the day that I was gonna actually test that morning, um, I got my period. So I didn't even record. I was just, it was a hard day for me. And it was a couple of hard um, days after that um, of just disappointment and and overall it was just a lot of disappointment just because we really really thought that this was going to be the one for us everything looked so good and it was a total fail i had my consult with my doctor to see what our next step is he said that the next best thing for us is to uh, go into doing IVF so she explained to me what um, the success rate would be for me um, if we did IVF based on my health and my age and my husband's health and age uh, we have really good numbers as far as percentage wise that I had a really good chance so we went over all of that um, and we also uh, spoke with the girl that does all the billing stuff. Um, I got the numbers down of what the IVF would cost and it's a lot. It's a lot. It was very overwhelming to be going over the numbers and just thinking about the amount of money that we would have to pay and there's still not a hundred percent guarantee that we could have a successful IVF because I know there's so many girls out there that do it multiple times multiple transfers there's so many girls that I've been following um, and I just break down every time I watch their videos because I know, I know exactly what they're feeling, the disappointment. There's just nothing, absolutely nothing that we can do when it doesn't work for us. And all you can do is keep that hope, keep that faith, because that's what, that's what keeps you going. Honestly, to me, that's what keeps me going. And the unconditional support that I get from my husband, because I know how I feel the emptiness that I feel, the disappointment that I feel. I know he feels it too. And it's just, I may never under fully understand why me, why us, why is it so hard for us? hope one day I can 
I hope one day we can get to the point where we have our family and understand that why God decided this was our path. I'm just not there yet. I have come to accept that this is our path. I don't understand it. But it doesn't make it any easier. I just do know that once we do have our family, it'll all be worth it. Everything that we've gone through, everything that we've had to do, all the money that we've have to we've had to invest into this and that we're still going to have to invest into this it's gonna be worth it i'm ready for it i'm ready for ivf i'm determined i feel like i'm in a point where it's i'm more determined more than ever to make this happen for us i'm so so thankful that our insurance that we're going to be getting is going to be covering this majority of it so it will take a huge weight off our shoulders as far as finances go obviously it's not going to cover it 100 percent. i know that but anything that it helps to cover for it is more than enough because this is really expensive i don't think people really understand the amount of money that you have to invest into this and as well as your your sanity, emotionally, mentally, it's hard. It's hard what we have to do to our bodies to make them do what they're supposed to do. But we still have some time before we start IVF. Um, I'm currently waiting on being able to enroll to our insurance and hopefully we can start at the beginning of the year. So when I first found the news that our fourth IV, our fourth IUI had failed and what we were going to have to do and when, we're, when we were going to have to wait to start all this, 2022 felt so far but hopefully by then we're settled into our home and we can go ahead and start our IVF journey I'm sorry if um, I was out for some time and I didn't update you guys it was just hard it was hard to I, I actually didn't even think that I was gonna break down uh, while making this video I really didn't it's a good thing I didn't put on my makeup um, but I, I don't want to um, leave you guys out um, in the unknown so again I definitely appreciate all the prayers and all the love that I had received um, that I have been still receiving from all of you guys i definitely definitely do appreciate it it does not go unnoticed everybody that is um just started following me i definitely see your guys's messages and i will see you guys in the next video if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe hit the bell notification that way you get notified um next time i upload my next video which hopefully won't be um this far in between as i was from the last one i promise you that i'll do my best and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye